You're listening to a podcast from the Abbey Theatre's Oral History Project. For more information about the archive, visit abbeytheatre.ie. In this podcast, playwright Bernard Farrell and actor Tom Hickey talk about actor Godfrey Quigley, who performed in over 40 productions at the Abbey Theatre from 1976 to 1990. In particular, Tom Hickey remembers working with him on the 1983 premiere of the Geely Concert by Tom Murphy, directed by Patrick Mason. I, I loved working with Godfrey Quigley because Godfrey Quigley had a very strange way of remembering lines. He never remembered the line as a line. He remembered, he remembered a word by what the word sounded like. So instead of trying to remember, for example, out on the out on the road, he would remember a line like um, "abroad in the sea," and he would he would think of abroad in the sea, and he would say, oh, "What the hell is that? Oh, it's out on the road." And it was around the houses way of of learning things. And and when we were rehearsing big long speeches, and and he was in all of it, we said, "No, it was well," which is about 1981 or something. And he had such long long speeches, and um, and if he took a prompt without asking for it. If he was given a prompt without asking for it, he used to get furious because he would then say, darling, dear heart, those are not the words I'm trying to remember. <laughs> because, and the prompter would be thinking, so what is he trying to remember? I have the script in front of me. But he would be trying to remember his parallel line, his parallel words to it. I just thought that they were so idiosyncratic. I, I just, I, I loved that. Godfrey I'd worked with, because Godfrey was in the Abbey as well, it was, we were in a similar situation. He told me Godfrey and Kate Flynn were playing the other roles, but it was basically Godfrey and myself, apart from two scenes. I went up to Godfrey and said, Godfrey, did you get the play? Yes, dear heart. And he was already working on it. He recognised something, he recognised it before I did, there was something really special here. I said, Joe has asked me to do it. We have to climb a mountain, dear boy. It was a very long script. It was terrifying. Just the rehearsal schedule for me, and probably similar for Godfrey. We had a week with Tom there, getting, trying to get a handle on this play. And then Tom went off. And for the second week, we five weeks, five weeks, it's now we four weeks. I'd get up at six, I'd work until 10, get the bus into the Abbey, rehearse from half 10 until half five or six, go home, make myself something to eat, work until 10, up in the morning, six o'clock, four weeks. Otherwise, there was no point. Otherwise, there was no point. Godfrey similar. Lunchtime, sandwiches. We sat and Godfrey would be running the lines at lunchtime. So it was uh, what I call, what I called in my life at that time, submarine routine. You were on duty all the time, 24 hours a day. So Tom would come back from time to time and make and really helpful, you know. It was a huge canvas, huge canvas. Patrick was brilliant with it. Godfrey, having recognised what, which I didn't initially, Godfrey having recognised what he was dealing with, I think said to himself, this could be the last big thing I'll ever do. I, I got that from him. Because Godfrey used to have not substantial problems, but odd problems with lines, you know. He had his own funny way of learning the lines. He never missed a word in the Gili. Never. Never. He was amazing. Never missed a syllable. Very funny story about Tom and the two of us. This is just funny. We opened, ah, two long, 
can't get the bus, buses are all gone. Sort of, well, hello. The only one who recognised it, funnily enough, was Fintan O'Toole, recognised it for what it was initially. So we opened on a, I think we opened on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, and this is the Friday, and Morph, Morpho hasn't been in since the opening. And Godfrey had a, Godfrey's father was in the Raj, so he had these army terms. He'd say to me, are there any civilians in the bar? I'd say, no, we'll have a drink, so. So we went out to the bar, there, was, there wasn't there many people in the bar. And uh, Tom arrives and he'd seen the show again. He comes across and says, well done, lads, well done, well done. Thank you, dear heart, thank you, dear heart. There's only one thing, Godfrey, I just want to say, this is, it's very, very good. But in the second half, don't you miss that uh, on such and such a place. I see, dear heart, thank you, that will be fine, thank you. Tom goes off. Silence, pause. He looks up at the ceiling, Godfrey looks up at the ceiling. Well, fuck me. We have climbed the mountain for him. We have done our utmost best. And he comes to me and he says, you missed a eh in the second half. Wonderful, wonderful. And Godfrey was wonderful in it. Thank you for listening to this podcast from the Abbey Theatre's Oral History Project. For more information about the archive, visit abbeytheatre.ie.